Here's yet another video to welcome you to our intercession class that starts today, May 2nd. Um, I've noticed it's 8.30 in the morning and many of you have already logged in, so that's a very good thing. Um, several of you are also already hard at work on the Unit 1 uh, assignments. Please do contact me anytime you have questions. Uh, I've given you a range of different ways that you can do that. Um, and also note that in about a half hour, uh, I'll be holding online office hours. So that's also another mechanism that you can use. Um, this morning, as I was um, kind of thinking about the class, getting things ready and getting rolling uh, for our short two-week time together, uh, I read a story in the New York Times called Your Brain on Podcasts. And it's uh, some social science research that looks at the ways that um, listening to a podcast while you're doing your commute, for example, uh, they, they looked at other situations too, but during a commute can actually make you not even realize that you were doing the commute. All of a sudden you're, you left home and all of a sudden you're at work or vice versa. Uh, so they're looking at the ways that storytelling impacts uh, brain waves and so on. It's a little bit tangential to history, but, but kind of not because what historians do is try to make sense out of the past, out of fragments that we get from historical documentation. We'll be talking more about that in our discussions here in Unit 1. Um, but they try to tell a story from all of that. They try to help us understand um, why things, why these things we're learning about from the past matter. Um, and so I just wanted to underscore that uh, for the timeline assignments that we'll be doing in Units 2 through 6. Um, something that I've mentioned there is that you need to emphasize historical significance. And sometimes it's hard for me to get across what, what historians mean by that. But really it's about the story. Um, it's about explaining how the event, the person, the place that you're talking about um, in your post, um, how that fits into the bigger story and why it matters. You know, so I, in the other video, said, you know, make sure that you've addressed the so what, who cares kind of question. Um, but another way of thinking of that is, how does this fit into the story and why does that matter? And as long as you've addressed those questions, that's what is the heart of those timeline assignments and trying to get at historical significance. So just some thoughts uh, to get started on this morning. I look forward to meeting all of you online, getting to work with you over the next couple of weeks.